What up, what up? Wimbush here, and today I wanted to give you this little quick tutorial showing you how you can make your own HDRs out of After Effects. Now to do this, I'm gonna be using a plugin from Metal called Flux. What we could do is make like this cool nebula, bringing in the Cinema 4D and light our scene with it. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. Okay, so to get started, I made this little scene here using some 3D models from the Adobe Stock Store. I'll leave a link down below. But there's a bunch of these assets you could use from the Adobe NASA collaboration. And so the ones that I'm using here, I'm just using this crater down here. And then I'm using the space te um, telescope here. And so you could download those, bring those into Redshift, the Cinema 4D. And all I did was I took the materials and then I actually made them really metallic so that we could see the HDR really reflect on our scene once I bring it in from Flux. So this is what it looks like right now with no HDR lighting. This is just lighting straight from Cinema 4D and Redshift. So to get started with Flux, let me go into After Effects. I'm gonna start a new composition. I'm just gonna make it 4K. So I'm doing 4096 by 2048. And so that's 4K mono. And I'm gonna name my composition Flux. And I'm just gonna use one frame. So my duration is gonna be one frame here. So I'm gonna click OK. And then down here in my timeline, I'm gonna right click, come over to new and make a new solid. And I'm gonna click make comp size just to make sure my solid is the same size as my composition. So I'm gonna click okay. Then I'm gonna come over to effects and presets. And whether you bought flux or you're using the trial edition from the metal website, once you install it, all you have to do is come over to effects and presets, type in flux, and then it'll be under metal, metal flux drag that over and we want to first start out by going to frame layout here and we want to make this monoscopic now with flux you can use it for 360 vr or you can use it for flat television hd 4k whatever and so it's going to start you off as rectangular which is for your flat hd 16 by 9 or if you're working in sd or 4k whatever this is flat and so since we want to make an hdr file that needs to be spherical so we want to go monoscopic here, but if you're doing anything else working in 360 VR, like if you're doing something stereoscopic, you have the options here to go over under or side by side. So I'm going to click on monoscopic and I'm actually going to use one of the presets here. So let me go to, let's see what supernova looks like. No, maybe xenomorph. Yeah, that looks cool. Cause I want something really spacey since we're going to be in space. So this might look like something that you might fly through if you're doing like a sci-fi type thriller type thing. So over here now under camera, if I scroll this down under camera, we can actually zoom into our nebula that we created here. So I'm gonna go to camera position Z and let's scroll this down. Nope, we wanna go the opposite direction. So I'm gonna scroll it to the right. And now we're traveling within our nebula here. So something around, nope, let's back up a little bit, maybe the two for our Z position. Okay, let's try 1.8. Uh, okay, something like that's cool. And if you wanna see what it's gonna look like in the spherical form, if you've downloaded this with your extensions here, you could go to Metal Globe Preview, and then you just give this a second to load in. And this will actually be able to go inside of here, kind of like, a, um, I can't think of what it's called, but if you double click on here, you actually go inside of your globe. And it usually takes just a second or two for it to, um, to come in here. So let me see, yep, there we go. So this is what it's gonna look like as a 360 image for our HDR file. So it actually gives us the flexibility to look all around. And I think that looks pretty cool. And if you double click, then it takes you to the outside of the globe so you can check it out. So that's a cool little feature that you can get as well. So I'm gonna exit this out. And now we wanna render this out of After Effects as an HDR file. So I wanna come over to my composition, click add the render queue. And then now under my render queue, under output module, click on lossless. And then over here under format, we want to use a radiant sequence and you'll see why in a minute. So radiant sequence, um, I don't need a frame comp number, but I click okay. And then for my output module, 
I'm gonna click on here, make sure it's going to where I wanna save it at. And if you notice here, it's actually saving it out as an HDR file. And so this is uh, this will allow us to save HDR files out, out of After Effects. So you can use that for any lighting situation that you want. So I'm gonna just click render and it looks like it rendered out already. So I'm gonna jump back here into Cinema 4D and now we just have to add what we rendered out. So I'm gonna come over to my lighting. I'm gonna come over to Dome Light and then under my path here, let's drop in that HDR file that we just made. So I'm gonna come under, it's called Flux, HDR, drop it in here. And now I'm just gonna do a preview and you'll see exactly what I'm talking about, how this is gonna take over our scene and light everything in here. So now we're getting this cool lighting effect as if we're in space, it's totally making everything look like we're on an alien planet. It looks pretty cool. And if I scroll down, we can see off into the horizon. If you wanna leave it in there, you'll see, actually let me redo this. Let me hit refresh. And you can see off in the horizon is our HDR file. And so if you want to just use the HDR file for strictly lighting, like if you wanna render this out with an alpha channel, just click on your dome light, go to alpha channel here, alpha channel replace, turn off enable background, and then you'll see that you'll have an alpha channel here if you wanna add like your own solar system or do stuff in post. But you'll still get the effects and everything of the HDR file lighting your scene. And if you come over here to coordinates, you can actually rotate it on the, on the H here, and this will affect our lighting here. So what you're doing is you're rotating the sphere around to get the lighting situation that you actually want, which is really, really cool because we're getting this cool purplish and like teal colors kind of reflecting off our telescope here. But yeah, I thought this was cool and the possibilities are kind of endless. So if you have flux and you have after effects, you could create your own HDRs and go crazy with it. So hopefully this helped you guys out. You know, it's pretty cool how we could go from after effects. We can output HDR files and we can use them in our 3D programs like Cinema 4D, Unreal, Unity, Maya, basically anything that could get lit with an HDR file, we can now create our own HDR images for that. And so if you want to use Metal Flux, make sure you go to metal.com. You can download the trial version or you can even purchase it. And while you're there, make sure you check out Mantra as well. I've done a couple of tutorials on how we can output stuff from Mantra, use it for AR and VR, etc. And so if this did help you out, make sure you leave me a comment below. Leave me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and I'll catch you in the next video. Take care.